to another episode of Buzz Lady Quick One. Today I want to talk about passing notes. You know there is no big deal about passing notes. Some of my best teaching lesson I've been talking about how to add passing notes to the main chord progression you're going. Now passing notes simply means notes that surround the main chord progression you're playing to any song. Okay, that is what passing note is. Did you get that? Now, note that surround the main chord progression you are playing. It can be funk groove, it can be reggae song, it can be praise song, it can be worship song. It surrounds the main chord progression you are actually going to play on that song. Okay? They, they are just, they are by the side, the corner. They are just waiting. Okay? Now, this is a typical example of what I mean. You know, I'm going to use the groove I just finished playing to explain the passing note to you. The groove is on key D, and the progression of the groove is... Okay, that is the key progression of that groove progression of that groove I've created is one, four, two, five, one. Now, the passing notes are not far from the main chord progression you are playing to. You're playing. They are not far. They are still the notes of the D major scale. The progression of the groove is brought out from the D major scale. first progression is one my second progression is four my third progression is two and my fourth progression is five then back to my one that is it so i'm doing do five three so do. now i've not started adding passing notes now the same the passing note is still the note of the d major scale you know, those notes I did not touch. That is what I'm using to serve as passing note to the main, main chord progression I'm playing. Okay? So, on my one, I can do this going to my one. I can do seven, one, three. Seven is my passing note to my one. Three is my passing note to my four. One is my passing note to my two, or I can do flat two to my two. Then I'm going to my five, I can do four, five, or I can do flat five, five. So when you play to any song you come across, you should ease off, like you should be free to just take some move, take some, yeah, take some move to the chord progression you're going. You know, it's simple to create passing notes. Your targeted chord progression, what am I going to do going to this chord progression? What am I going to Now you think of those things as you play. Oh, I'm going to four. Three is always close to my four. You know, now if I want to start to add more colors to the groove, what do I look out for? I look out for those passing notes that, is, that are closer to the progression I'm going. That's it. So I'm playing the groove again. Let me add those passing notes that are closer to each of the chord 
progression I'm going to. I will play. My first chord progression is one, so I'm going to my one, I can do D. I'm going to my four, I can do. I'm going to my two, I'm, I can do. I'm going to my five, I can do. That's it. So, let's go again. See how colorful this is sounding. That is it. That is everything about passing notes. So you won't just be doing them and you're afraid. Passing notes always break the stiffness in you like it's it's one to make you to enjoy what you're doing on the bass guitar yes that is what passing note is they are not the one who help you to express yourself on the bass playing music generally than for you to just be okay try something they give you access to express yourself. They give you confidence to just enjoy what you're doing. That is passing notes. Okay? So I'm grooving to that funk beat. I'm doing this. Now, with the ghost note accompanying those passing notes, that makes it sound so lovely and wonderful. Okay? Now, you feel your groove with the ghost notes accompanying those passing notes now you, you're hearing this okay so that's the passing note i'm talking about so easy to achieve okay it sound better that way than you just plucking your notes one after the other basically this is passing notes for you so any genre of song you find yourself, any song you want to play, you know, try as much as possible to um, make use of passing notes. They they help you sound more mature on the bass, and they help you sound more fuller. You know, they help you s to express yourself. They help you to tell the world you know what you're doing on the bass. You know. So that's passing notes. So I believe henceforth you begin to add colors to your playing you begin to apply passing notes to your playing okay any song you come across express yourself making use of passing notes first of all what you should look out for any song you come across look out for the key immediately you've gotten your key look out for the progression what is the body of the song the progression is the pillar so look out for the pillar of the song just like what we did on the groove is just your one okay my first progression is one the second progression is four you're going to two you're going to five this is the pillar immediately you've gotten your progression start thinking of how to color the progression start thinking of how to add passing notes in between the chord changes because everything i did here was to add passing notes in between the chord changes and the passing notes are not too far from themselves from the chord from the main chord progression you're going the passing notes are not too far so i'm going to my one id i'm going to my four id i'm going to my two id i'm going to my fifth my five id that is it and i can as well think of passing notes of descending like descending format because what i was doing is like high sending so i can also think of how to just kind of invert it the other way around you know so i'm going to my one i can do that is it this the descending kind of um reading i'm i'm bringing out i think i enjoyed that two, two, one. Five, four, three, two, six, five. 
¿ok? Don't forget to include those ghost notes on the underneath, you know, to accompany the whole groove, you know, to make the groove come alive, to make the groove, your notes, your movement sounds lovely. Okay, so this is everything I want to show you about passing out. Hope you enjoy this lesson. And also, guys, if you're new to this channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Do not forget to turn on the notification bell. You know, I upload videos every week. Okay, you can't afford to miss any, any, you know. Yeah, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. And also, if you need private lessons from me, every information is right there in the description below. You know, chat me via WhatsApp and send me an email indicating you need Zoom private lessons from me. Okay, and also if you need the beginners package, it's still available. Come get yours. Um, pack on worship, pack on praise, pack on reggae, pack on pentatonic. You know, everything about the pentatonic you want to know, you want to understand, you want to start making use of it. You know, the pack is available. Come get yours, and that's all for today. Okay, I will see you in my next video. Bye, love you guys. <laughs>